we ended up doing a garden Seychelles and there was a representative from Maldives who came along to recommend it to his government that uh, we do this guard here in the Maldives. I got to know about JAD program in Seychelles and uh, when I attended the program I came to find out that this, the challenges in Seychelles and the Maldives were pretty much the same. thought it would be a good program to imply in the Maldives because uh, we have experienced uh, natural disasters in form of tsunamis in the past decade and it has caused widespread disruptions in our economy and in our social life. So to increase the surge capacity in our international airport could be the only way to get uh, the foreign aid into our country. The nation itself has dispersed over, over a thousand islands, uh, none of which are much more than a couple of meters above uh, sea level. So obviously the impact of any seaborne disaster in the event of tsunami or serious storm surges is, is really critical to the nation. They don't have the defenses or the higher land to, uh, to get away from, so they are vulnerable. Literally every square meter of this island has been a dedicated use, so any extra facilities have to be juggled and, and moved around very, very carefully to cope with the demand that they expect to see in the future. It's interesting in that uh, we are going to have to rely on the seaplanes to distribute aid, something, a challenge that we've not looked at before. It's the world's largest seaplane operation here at Valana International Airport. And the challenges that introduces smaller aircraft, a multitude of them, and how we transport that freight around the airport. The electrical grid the water desalination plant is powered by fuel. It is quite critical for these facilities to be up and running during natural disasters. They don't have a, a manual override to pump out the fuel when they need it. And it's very stark reminded that they are still not prepared for that. To really have uh, the trainers come in with us and to guide us in identifying what were these primary risks and to really open us up to looking at these issues from new angles. The other major change we've done is to introduce a fourth group, a facilities group, which is led by one of DHL Express's engineering faculty. Uh, this has proven to be very successful. We had uh, 36 participants all together from various functions who are critical at an airport in operations. I'm actually quite amazed at how this airport already is very well prepared for anything that might strike them uh, in terms of a natural disaster. Um, it's a very closely knit community. It takes them less than an hour to bring everything together and to make sure that things function. And that to me was a very, uh, very pleasant surprise. Uh, going forward, the most important thing would be to ensure that this gets rolled out. If it gets buried in a shelf, uh, that's where its usefulness drops. We're hoping to integrate this uh, action plan into a emergency plane. We are hoping that they come back and uh, check up on how we are doing. And we are grateful to have expertise uh, from the DHL Deutsche Post. They have immense experience in all parts of the world. It's interesting uh, how they have started uh, the, their program uh, from Iran in 2003. How to uh, coordinate and do everything perfectly right. 